batteries that we have today are designed to be recharged every night. The better you keep them at a higher voltage, the longer they will last. And the chargers that we use now are what's called peak chargers, which means when they feel full charge, they turn themselves off. So charging a battery every night is what we recommend. I've got to be able to go a long distance on the batteries. So this is two large size batteries, which is, you know, guarantees me at least 25 miles. The chair has a bank of batteries, two 12 volt gel sealed batteries in the, in the bottom of the chair. That's very standard throughout the industry. Every electronic feature that you activate, tilt, recline, elevate, the infrared, whatever that electronic feature is, it does drain juice, does drain battery life. So the more you use different functions, the more it's going to affect the overall life of the batteries and how long you can go in between charges. The big question is always, how far can I drive on a full set of batteries? Well, we put a 185 pound dummy in it and drive it around a test track and it'll go 18 miles. But what does that really mean? I've heard people say they can go 20 and I've seen some people go 10. It depends upon how fast you drive, how much you weigh, and what type of environment you're driving in. Keeping in mind that most people do use power functions, the chair is estimated to go um, about 22 miles on one charge with um, some use of the power functions as well. The battery range on this chair is going to get you about 16 miles on a full charge. It's going to go between 18 and 25 miles per charge, and of course that's completely dependent on user weight and the terrain and, and all of that, but typically I mean, you, can, you can get a pretty, good, a pretty good range out of it. The actuators are going to draw on the battery. You know, the more you start and stop the chair, the more you tilt and recline, it's going to drain on the battery. I would say a good rule of thumb, when you see a manufacturer specify 20 to 25 miles on a charge, that's a best case scenario. I would normally say it's somewhere between you know, 60 and 80 percent of what the manufacturers suggest. It's going to be your average battery life per day. The Autobach B600 states approximately 22 plus miles per charge. The Bounder Plus states approximately 30 to 40 plus miles per charge. The Frontier X5 states approximately 18 to 25 miles per charge. The Pride Quantum 6000Z states approximately 20 miles per charge. Quickie S 636 states approximately 20 miles per charge. The Promobile C300 states approximately 16 plus miles per charge. The Promobile C350 states approximately 16 plus miles per charge. The Invacare TDX SR states approximately 12 plus miles per charge. One of the unique features about the 350 and the 300 is that we use a, a Group 34 battery, which is a 60 amp hour battery. Most of the chairs in this category are going to use a 22 or even a U1 battery. So we're looking at a 30 amp hour. Some are using a 40 amp hour. The Group 22 is a 50 amp hour battery. But what we use here is a 60 amp hour battery. So we've got essentially a bigger gas tank. And um, it's a larger battery, but it's shorter. It allows us to get lower seat heights and have a better range. The Group 27 batteries and Group 24 batteries are a common uh, industry battery. Uh, group 24 batteries are often stocked by dealers. Group 27 batteries uh, can be, uh, if they are not stocked, can be ordered and, uh, and can be put in the chair uh, within just a few days. The group 24 batteries come in the Quantum 6000Z. Uh, and we find that, of course, to try and maximize speed, uh, range, and of course when you're adding on power seating and other things that can take current away from the batteries, you do want to hopefully go as big as you can. Uh, in the Group 24, the, the large wheelchair batteries that uh, are typically used in the industry. 22s and 24s and U1s every provider keeps on hand. 34s, it depends who it is, if they keep those on hand or not. The Autobach B600 has Group 24 batteries. The Bounder Plus has Group 24 or 27 batteries. The Frontier X5 has Group 24 batteries. The Pride Quantum 6000Z has Group 22, 24, or 34 batteries. The Quickie S 636 has Group 22 or 24 batteries. The Permobile C300 has Group 34 batteries. The Permobile C350 has Group 34 batteries. The Invicare TDX SR has Group 22 or 24 batteries. To change the batteries, you have to take the seating system off which is done with about five bolts. It's, uh, it's really quite a, quite a quick process. And even for, um, I would say somebody like me, because I'm really not that handy of a person, I can do it myself within a half an hour. 
The Quantum 6000Z uses actually a front battery tray to access the battery, so it's two release levers, lift up and off, and they just slide out the front. So again, it's another feature too for using a, a four tower mount, you know, scissor style seat elevator mechanism. If there was a, a pedestal lift or that single post that had to just drop down between the between the batteries inside the chair it would cause more difficulty for actually removing the batteries, but this provides, uh, using the same four towers, an easy way just to get out, uh, get in, get access to the tray and move the batteries in and out. If the batteries die and the chair is in this fullest, lowest position, you would need to take it to a service center. There they would plug it, plug it in to get some electricity to it, then they would elevate the seat and have access to the batteries. Every shop, repair shop, has a device that allows them to take the elevate actuator, the elevate motor, and plug it direct, directly into a battery, enabling it to power that actuator without having the chair having any power. I travel a lot, and one time the battery died while I was sitting in the chair. Is it accessible to access the battery while I'm sitting in the chair? If you have battery trouble, one of the unique features of our chair is that you're able to easily switch out the battery by just pulling out a tray taking out the old battery and putting in a new one. In order to remove the battery tray on the B600, I simply find a lever that's located underneath, pull it up, and then pull out the battery tray. That way I can access the battery, switch it out without doing anything else to the chair. So this chair has a rear battery access. Two quick release um, latches uh, allow the, the, the rear tailgate to fold down and the batteries can be pulled directly from the rear and no one, you do not have to uh, disturb the person in the chair at all. Again, the users in the chair, no need to move them. There's a lever here. No tools needed. Pull the batteries out. You can take the batteries and unplug them here. All right, you can remove the batteries. They have straps so you can have nice handles to lift them. And then when you're done, push it back in, pull the tailgate up. Lock back into place. All our Bounder Plus H frames come standard with a sliding battery box. And so uh, you don't ever have to take the seat off the chair. Uh, you can simply slide the battery box out the rear of the chair. You get easy access to the batteries uh, with power uh, on or off. The following three manufacturers have chairs with easy access battery slide out trays. Autobach B600. 21st Century Scientific Bounder Plus. Quickie S636. For details about eight of the top power wheelchairs on the market today, tune in to the Power Wheelchair Comparison Web Series. Transportation provided by the Braun Entervan, www.braunability.com. Brought to you by the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation and Gold Pictures. Filmed on location at Universal Studios, California.